In this video, we will show you how to embed Calendly on a VoiceFlow chatbot. If you are not familiar with Calendly, Calendly is a scheduling automation platform, which is revolutionizing the way we manage our time and appointments. It's more than just a scheduling link, it's a comprehensive tool designed to streamline workflows, integrate with various software stacks, and provide advanced security features. The primary function of Calendly is to simplify the process of scheduling appointments and events. It eliminates the back and forth emails typically involved in coordinating a meeting time. With Calendly, you can share your availability and let others choose a suitable time to meet you. This feature is particularly useful for recruitment officers, customer support teams, and anyone who frequently schedules meetings. If you do not have an account yet, you can register and create one. I have already done so, and I am going to log in my account. Now we are on the login page. After scrolling up a little, we can enter the email address. I enter my Gmail address and click on the login button to log on to my account. It has recognized my Gmail address and let us click the login with Google button so I can log on with my Google account. Click the next button to continue. After confirming the Gmail account, we will need to enter the password on the next page. We simply input the password and click on the next button. Finally, we will log in the Calendly account. Now we are on the dashboard of the Calendly account. Here you can set event type and set availability, which I have done when I registered my account. There is a URL for the default calendar. By default, there is a 30-minute meeting event. You can change it to whatever you want. For this demo, I will just use the default. We can click this URL to go to our calendar page. On the page, we can see the 30-minute meeting event. We click the arrow to add the event and show the calendar with the available dates. The calendar has added the 30-minute meeting event and is ready to make appointments. Next we need to select the URL of the calendar. We will make a copy of the URL of our calendar and use it on our VoiceFlow chatbot. Next, let us go to our VoiceFlow canvas to build a chatbot to show the calendar for making appointments. Here is a very simple demo bot. Let us walk through quickly. The first block is a text block. It asks the user a question, do you want to schedule a meeting with me? Next, there will be two buttons for the user to click, yes and no. If the yes button is clicked, the conversation will go to the next block, which is a JavaScript block to set a variable to store the URL of our calendar. We are going to paste the URL of our calendar in the JavaScript. The last block is a text block. We put an iframe in the block. In the SRC attribute, we put the URL variable. This is important. We cannot directly place the URL here, and we need to use a variable to store the URL, then, put the variable in the src attribute. The program will extract the URL stored in the variable and use it to display the calendar as an iframe. We can set other parameters. For example, the width is set as auto, which can automatically fit the width of the chat window. Other parameters can be adjusted according to your needs. After we finish all the settings, let us do a test run. The chatbot asks a question to schedule a meeting. Click the Yes button. However, we do not see the calendar shown here. In VoiceFlow, the iframe is not designed to work in the canvas. We have to publish SHR project in order to see the calendar which is embedded as an iframe. Let us now click the Publish button on the top right corner. Click the Publish again on the pop-up window. We click the Embed Widget button, and we will see the code we need. If you are going to publish the bot in a real project, you may need to copy the entire code. Here, for the demo purpose, I will copy a part of the code. We will highlight the code, and then, make a copy. Next, you can choose any web page, for example, Google. Right-click the mouse, and choose Inspect. We will see the Development Tools window. On the DevTools window, we click on the tab, Console. On the console, we paste the code, and press Enter on the computer. As you can see, the chat bubble appears on the bottom right of the Google web page. Let us click on it and start the chart window. We click the yes button to see the calendar. The calendar is now loading. After loading, the calendar is shown here nicely. We scroll up and we can see the title of the calendar, which is 30 minute meeting. Let us do a test and click on the arrow to see next month. It is showing the next month calendar. And we go back to this month. Next, let us do a test to make an appointment. Let us randomly pick up a date. We are going to choose the 21st and click on this date to make an appointment. It shows select a time. Let us scroll down and select 3 p.m. Click on next. 
We scroll up and we can see the 30-minute duration and the time and date we just have selected. Now let us fill out the form with name and email address. We enter the name Andrew and the email address andrew.example.com. Then we click the Schedule Event button to make an appointment. After this, we can see the our appointment has been scheduled. Let us see the details of our appointment. The event title is 30-minute meeting. We can see the person, the time and date of the meeting, and the time zone as well. It says a calendar invitation has been sent to your email. All this has indicated that the Calendly has been successfully embedded on the VoiceFlow chat bot and worked as expected. Let us go back to the VoiceFlow canvas. In the chatbot demo, we use a JavaScript block to save the URL of our Calendly event to a variable. In order to display the calendar, we use a text block with iframe code. The SRC attribute should have the URL variable instead of the Calendly event URL. Finally, do not forget to click the Publish button to publish your project before you can use the Calendly on your chatbot. This wraps up today's video. If you like this video, please subscribe and give a thumbs up. If you have any comments and suggestions, please let us know. Thank you for your support.